What is cerebral ischemia? It is a condition where the brain suffers from a lack of oxygen due to an interruption in a blood vessel. Ischemia represents about 85% of all brain strokes. Why do ischemic strokes happen? There are two reasons. First is thrombosis, where you have a blood vessel weakened by arteriosclerosis due to the accumulation of cholesterol on the interior walls, which reduces the volume of the blood circulation. When the blood finds an interruption on its way to the brain, it results in ischemia. The second reason is embolism. It's a blood clot that circulates in the bloodstream and based on its size may or may not cause an obstruction in a blood vessel, resulting in ischemia. In fact, arteries gradually become smaller as they approach the brain. I will use the common acronym FAST, which includes the four main signs a stroke is happening. Face. During a stroke, you can see that one side of the person's mouth drops due to paralysis of that part of the body. You may notice when he drinks a leakage from the corner of the mouth, similar to drinking after dental anesthesia. Arm. Movement restriction and diminished sensitivity. Speech. When ischemia takes place on the left hemisphere of the brain, the person may speak with no meaningful words or garbled words. Time is actually not a sign, but a reminder to quickly relay all signs noted to an emergency crew. Consequences Paralysis of half the body Perception issues Cognitive alteration Actually, human movement is dependent on the brain functions, not only the muscles. Being there said, of course, the hope of recovery relies on proper rehabilitation. Physiotherapy chosen must consider the exercises focusing on the recovery of certain functions. This is the only way to lead the central nervous system plasticity to a quality recovery.